I just saw this show on Netflix where you have these gay people, they come into straight men's houses and they say, oh, you need to dress like this. And they do their hair and they redecorate their house. And they make them you shower. Puke. You're making me want to yeah. puke. And it's just total, total grooming. What's Personal the real liberty. agenda? What's the real agenda? Attack the freedom of speech. There's this show on Netflix where they these gay people go into straight men's houses and they like do their hair oh. and they redecorate and like tell them how to dress and oh you've got to take a shower and stuff like that and it's like really like that's grooming and the kids are watching yeah the kids are catching it they're seeing it it's nothing to them yeah. but you know and we just teach our kids right right from wrong you know we want to support our country we want to support you know our first responders what you do behind closed doors keep it behind closed doors don't force it on our children there's this show where these gay people go into straight men's houses and they rearrange everything, tell them how to do their hair, tell them how to dress, tell them how to you know, make them shower. That's what makes me mad when you say that like, gay people are going into people's houses and rearranging it. Like you don't have to be a woman in a man's body. You can be a feminine guy, that's fine. You can be a masculine woman, that's fine. You're still a woman, you're still a guy. So if a guy has really good sense on how a home should look, fine. But it doesn't mean you have to be gay. Schools today are forcing it down their throats and just removing the innocence from children. Like, we don't want to do that. No one should be having these conversations. So you're publishing children's books? Yeah, uh, we're books. This one's about uh, elephants and not birds. It's uh, transgenderism or gender ideology. That's a hard one to try to conceptualize, to try to teach to children. What's an appropriate age to introduce this book to a child? Um, again, uh, the rote for ages 4 to 12, I would say don't even introduce it till till six or seven. So this um, book is for six-year-olds. This is uh, the island of free ice cream. This is a topic, this is capitalism versus communism. You can have this conversation with any child because it's just logic. If people come and say, hey, why are you working so hard? You shouldn't have to work. I can give you everything for free. You shouldn't have to work for your food. If you put me in charge, I'll make sure that everything you have is, is cheap. Like these are wolves and the wolves represent communism. And that's for association purposes. So the children can be like, okay, mom, I'm hearing these things in my school and they sound just like the wolves. So that helps the mom to be able to, to dive into those conversations right then. This one is by... <laughs> Jack Posobiec. Yeah. Jack Posobiec. Our nieces, to teach them about you know, capitalism and communism, we had them set up a lemonade stand. At the end of the day, you know, we took all their profits and was like, all right, you know what? All right, do you, do you own the lemonade? We provided the lemonade. We provided the table. We provided this. And then, you know, so they, they had cleared, you know, like $37 or something. And, you know, we charged them for the table, charged them for the lemonade. And they walked away with five five dollars you know, and that was, uh, I think it was a pretty good lesson yeah. for them on, you know, capitalism over communism. Absolutely. Yeah.